March 1989, 14 years after the program began, the Yak-141 was at last ready to fly. Pilot Andrei Shinitsin made his final preparations. Here, at the Zhukovsky Flight Test Center, where the late Alexander Yakovlev had witnessed so many test flights of his military aircraft, the last generation of Yakovlev fighters was about to be launched. All first flights are conservative, and this one began in short takeoff mode. The Yak-141 showed enormous promise. In its two-year test flight program, it would break 12 world records. It would demonstrate a climb rate faster than the Harrier and an ability to reach a height of 12 kilometers in pure vertical takeoff mode. It could carry 6,000 pounds of weapons and had a range of up to 1,300 miles. But in spite of its promise, flight tests would be aborted in 1991. One of the two prototypes would crash. A rapidly diminishing defense budget would force the Yakovlev Bureau to abandon military aircraft. But in March 1989, after the successful first flight, Andrei Sinitsin and his fellow Yakovlev employees had no inkling of the momentous changes about to hit the Soviet Union and the Yak-141 program.